Hey friends, Miss B here. So today we're gonna go over Common Core Multiplication Strategies. So first things first, multiplication is just when you have two factors that you put together to find the product. The factors are the numbers that we're multiplying, the product is the answer. This would be the product. And these would be the factors. If we fill that in, let's say we have three times five, the product is going to be 15. The first multiplication strategy and the most common is equal groups. So pretty much we're gonna take these factors and break them down into equal groups. So I'm going to have three circles. One, two, three. Let's put five in each one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to count all those dots up and find that that equals 15 because I have five plus five plus five. With this, if you do community property, you can switch them and then you can do five groups and each one will have three dots in them. So that'll look like this. If we did one, two, three, four, five, and each circle had three dots in them. We have three. We have one, two, three, six, nine, 12, and 15. We would still get the same product, 15. Our next strategy is repeated addition, which we pretty much can take from our equal groups. Just like we did this here, this is repeated addition. We basically just took one number and added it the other factor amount of times. So using the same three times five equals 15 equation, let's do three. So we're gonna do three, five times. And if I add those up, I'll find that that equals 15. Or I could switch the factors and I can do five, three times. We'll find that that equals 15 as well. Okay, let me bring closer so you can get a close eye at these two strategies. We pretty much just took this three and this five one went right there. So for our next strategy, we have a strip diagram or a bar model. The name kind of varies. So pretty much we're going to again start with our factors. Let's start with three. So I'm gonna make a giant box rectangle and split it up into three sections. I like the term bar model because I like to think of this as a giant candy bar. So we're splitting up into three different spots. As you can see, one, two, three. That's from this factor right here. Now in each box, we're going to have our other factor, which is five. So I'm going to put five in each one. Five, five, five. And once we add those all up, we'll get our factor, which is 15. With this bar model or strip diagram, our product is gonna go along the bottom. So we're going to show that if we connect these sides all the way throughout this bar, that is 15. That's our product. We are connecting all of those little pieces in our bar model or strip diagram to show our product at the bottom down here. Again, we can flip it with the factors, and this time we would have a bar with five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. And try to get each square as equal as you can, because remember with multiplication, everything has to be equal sort of groups. So we can't have one section way bigger than the other. They have to be as equal as we can. So now that I have my five pieces, I'm gonna use my other factor three that's gonna go in each little box. And if we add all those up, our product is 15. And we're gonna show that by connecting these, showing all the way from this box, all the way to here equals 15. The so next strategy that we have is an array. This one takes a little bit more time, but it's a little more fun. Again, we're starting with our factor. So I'm gonna start with three. I'm gonna draw three little dots across the top. One, two, three. Then for my other factor, five is the amount that I'm going to go down. So I have my one still. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you there you go. Okay, so now I need to fill this all up so it makes a square or a rectangle. So I'm gonna take my black marker and fill them in. I see that I have my five by 
3. So those numbers on the corner are my factors. And, and when I add all of these circles up, that's how I get the finished product, which let's count up all the circles and find our answer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Again with your array, swap them. Now let's do 5 across. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, I'm going to number them just to make sure I have the right number. And then now that I have five here, I'm gonna go down three. My one's still right there. Don't do an extra circle for one, two, and three. And let's fill in the circles. Again, we have 15 circles in all. Our product is 15. Okay, the last common core strategy is a number line. So for our number line, I'm going to start at zero. Always start at zero. Then I'm going to count by threes. I'm going to do three little hops for every one big hop, which we're going for five big hops here. So let's draw a line, see how that works. I'm going to say now I need five. So I'm going to say, okay, five, there's one. I landed on 15. My three right here, that's how many I counted. So here's three, 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 three. My big hops were that five. So we can also do it again, switch to where our little hops are going to be five and our big hops are gonna be three. So that would look like this. Start with zero. Since I have my three circles, that's how many I need there, and I know I'm ready for my big hops. So I have one, two, three. Which again equals 15, my product is 15. So this is a little harder just because it requires the spacing to be right, and it's just a tad more challenging, takes up more room. But I have a strategy that I really like, and I found that it's super helpful because it only requires that little bit of space. So that's it for a common core. For this new model, we are starting again with the factor. So I'm going to see three. I'm going to make three circles. One, two, three. My other factor is five, so I'm going to draw five lines at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to number them. That way I know my numbers are correct. Three for factor three, five for factor five. Now I'm going to count these three circles, and every time I count them, I'm going to add a number here. So I'm going to say, okay, one, two, three. That's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and now I'm done counting, so my answer is fifteen. Again, could switch the products. This time I would have five circles. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna number them because I always want to double check that I have the correct numbers. So since I'm doing five circles this time, I'm going to do three lines underneath it. One, two, three. So, I know first one is five. Oops, sorry, I forgot to number. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I see that the product is still the same. So I guess just call this circle and lines, but I like this one because it does take up much less space and I find it really, really simple. So there are your multiplication strategies for Common Core Math, plus my bonus one. This is not Common Core, but it's a good way to maybe double check your answer. But be sure that with your math, you are using the Common Core strategies. If you're having difficulty with the problem, put the problem down below, and maybe I could do a quick video for you to show you how to solve it. And that's a wrap. Next up in Ms. B's room, Common Core Division Strategies. See you guys there.